In this series of presentations, I'm going to try to teach you everything you need to know about triangles and, and angles and parallel lines. And this is probably the highest uh, yield information that you could ever learn, especially in terms of um, a standardized tests. And then when we've, we've learned all the rules, we'll play something that I call the angle game, which is essentially what the SAT makes you do over and over again. So let's start with uh, some basics. Well, you know what an angle is. Well, actually, maybe you don't know what an angle is, and, and I'll tell you what an angle is. An angle, if I have two lines, let me draw a thicker line than that. If I have two lines, and they intersect at some point, the angle is a measure of exactly kind of how, how wide the intersection is between those two lines. So it's like, uh, let me use a better tool. So this is the angle. An angle is is how wide uh, those two lines kind of open up. And they're measured either in degrees or radians. And, and for the sake of most of a geometry class, we'll use it degrees. And that's um, in, when we start doing trigonometry, you'll learn radians. Or maybe you could learn it now. And you're probably familiar with this. You know, a very small, zero degrees would be these two lines on top of each other. This, if I were to just eyeball it, looks like, I don't know, like 45 degrees. If I had the lines even wider apart, like that, that's 90 degrees. And the 90 degree lines are also called perpendicular because they are, um, well, I, I feel like saying because they are perpendicular, but because one is going completely vertical while the other is going horizontal. They're going in, in, in um, they, um, wow, it's, it's actually amazingly difficult to find the exact right wording. But I think you get the idea. They're, well, by definition, perpendicular lines have a 90 degree apart from each other. And you know, you've you've seen this all the time in things like squares and, you know, rectangles. If I were to draw a rectangle like that. Right? A rectangle is made up of a bunch of perpendicular lines. Or lines at ninety degree angles. So example, these two lines are at a ninety degree angle. The way you draw a ninety degree angle is you draw a little box like that. That's the same thing as doing this. As doing a ninety degree angle. And you could even get wider angles. So if you go above 90 degrees, so let me draw. So let's say I had a lines like this. So this would be, I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it, 135 degrees or something like that. And you could, if you, if you ever want to really measure the angles, you can use something called a protractor. That's a tool. Maybe your teachers can help you uh, use that. So that'd be 135 degrees. And then if you had a complete if you had it so wide that the two lines are actually almost forming a line then this becomes 180 degrees it's almost like one line right this is 180 degrees and then you can keep going you could go with a so this if this angle here is 135 degrees you can actually also measure this angle right here let me do it in a different color just to add some variety So then this angle right here, so the angles in a circle are they're 360 degrees in a circle. So if this is 135, this blue ang this <laughs> I don't know my colors. This magenta angle would be 360 degrees minus 135 degrees. And that's equal to what? That's 225 degrees. Is this is this magenta angle? And then we can do other things like that. So one, you know that the degrees in the circle are 360 degrees. This is important to know. Degrees in the circle are 360 degrees. It's also important to know that the, if you just go kind of halfway around a circle, like we did here, that's 180 degrees. Like if you view the pivot point as, like, let's say, right here. I mean, it looks like just one line, and it really is. But that's 180 degrees. And then if you go quarter way around the circle, that's 90 degrees. Right. Hopefully, you're getting a bit of an intuition for for what an angle is. So now I will uh, teach you a bunch of very useful rules for angles. Let me clear this. Good. So let me redraw. So if I had a line like this, I like using the colors just so I think it keeps you from getting completely bored. That, it, 
it might not be completely intuitive what I'm doing, but let's add an angle like that. And so let's just say, you know, I, I'm not measuring these exactly. Let's say that this is 30 degrees. We know that if we go all the way around the circle, if we go all the way around the circle, we know that that's 360 degrees, right? And that's a very ugly looking around the circle angle that I drew. So then we also know that this this angle right here is 330 degrees, right? Because this angle plus this magenta angle is going to equal the whole circle. So this is equal to 330 degrees. So the angles in a circle, so let, remember that. The angles in a circle, or there are 360 degrees in a circle. And if if you ever played, I don't know if you if you remember, you probably don't. This was probably before you were born, but there used to be a game called 720, and it was a skateboarding game. It was a video game, and a 720 was essentially your, you know, you try to jump your skateboard and and spin around twice, and that's what it's so 720 degrees. If you spin around, if you go around in a circle twice, that's 720 degrees. If you just jump and spin around once, you went 360 degrees. So that's where you probably heard this in just you know popular culture, but anyway. So 360 degrees in a circle, and you can imagine half a circle is 180 degrees. And so the other important thing to realize is, like we said, if we go halfway around the circle, it's 180 degrees. But if we have two angles that add up to that, so let's say, I don't know if these lines are thick enough for you to see. Let me draw something thicker. Oh, well, that <laughs> doesn't look ideal, but you get the idea. So if, if you have this line, this angle, oh, whoops, I'm still using my line tool. If we have this angle is, I don't know, let's call it x. And then this, and then this angle is y. What do we know about the relationship between x and y? Well, we know that this, we know that the entire angle is half of a circle, right? So that's 180 degrees. That's 180 degrees, this entire angle. So what are angles x and y going to add up to? Well, x plus, I'm trying to stay color consistent, x plus y are going to equal, I don't even, I'm colorblind, I think, are going to equal 180 degrees. Or you could write, you know, y is equal to 180 minus x, or x is equal to 180 minus y. But if x plus y is equal are, are equal to 180 degrees, and you can see that it makes sense that they do, they kind of, if you add the two angles, you go halfway around the circle, then that tells us that x and y are, and this is a, a fancy word, and it's just good to commit this to memory, they are supplementary. Supplementary angles. Supplementary. Supplementary. Supplementary angles. That's when you add to 180 degrees. Now what if we had this situation? Oh my god, that was horrible. Undo. Undo. Let's say I had this situation. Let's see, I draw two perpendicular lines, right? So this is going a quarter way around the circle. All right, let's say this entire angle here, this entire angle, I'm, I'm drawing it really big. That's 90 degrees, right? They're perpendicular. And now, if I had two angles within that, so now if I have two angles here, so let's say that this is x and this is y. What do x and y add up to? Well, x plus y is 90. And we can say that x and y are complementary. Complementary. And it's important to not get confused uh, between the two. Just remember, complementary means two angles add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary means that two angles add up to 180 degrees. I'm running out of time, so I will see you in the next video.